All right, all right. So recap on week one. Is this backwards? I should know. Week one, customer acquisition system. All right, so we talked about this today as our first topic, week one. And so what I want you guys to think about and ask yourself is, what am I doing to acquire customers? What are you doing? How are you getting new customers? What does that look like for you? Okay, so this is like self-eval time. Okay, am I doing it? Okay, how am I doing it? Am I doing it? And is it working? Okay, so I want you to take some time, write this down, think about this, okay? Now, here's the deal. Whatever that answer is, that's gonna tell you a lot. Maybe you need a new system. Maybe you need to think of some new ways. We're all pivoting in this new age, in this new world, in this new life. But it needs to be simple, you guys. So, so simple. So one of the ways that we can share and I want to share with you today is by being on Instagram and being on Facebook, right? But how do we do that? How do we get new customers? Well, we want to lead with the product. That's what Young Living does. That is what we're known for. That's who we are. And I mean, mostly people don't come and they're like, oh, I want to have make a lot of money. I'm going to go get started with Young Living. No, people fall in love with the product. So that's what we want to do. We want more customers. We want more customers. We want to continue to introduce people and to get them emotionally attached and involved with our products, just like we have been, right? We see that it's not just like, oh, whatever, I'm not making money anymore, so I'm out of here. It's like, no, I am loving these products. They have made a difference in my life. And now I have to share that with people because I want people to have that same experience in their life, okay? And so think about the product that you have a connection to emotionally. Okay, so what you're going to start to do is you're going to start to use that to share Young Living because that's where your passion is. That's where your heart is. For me, Thieves was one of the first oils that I tried, right? And so that's a story that I pull out all the time. I talk to people all the time about Thieves and how that happened and where I was and what my body felt and what happened and how I did all the things, right? Stories. We're telling our stories, okay? So I want you to think about a product for you. What is one of your products that you're going to? And I want you to share about that this week. Okay. You're going to kind of start to think about some of these stories. Now, some of you may be doing this. Some of you, maybe this is a refresh. Some of you, maybe you're like getting stumped of how to share, what to share. I want you to start here. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a curiosity post. Okay. So, so often it's like, bleh, we just like lay out all the stuff on our posts, right? Or when we're sharing with someone or something like that, you want to create curiosity. Lots of ways to do that. So we're going to have a challenge at the end here. I'm going to tell you how I want you to do that. Um, but we really want to not say so much. We want to be good listeners, but we also want to create some sort of curiosity. Like, what is that red stuff that Jen's drinking? Or, huh, what is that? She can't live without that spray that she cleans her vegetables with. Like, what is that? Maybe I need some. I don't know who's touching my vegetables in the grocery store. Okay, so we want to start to do that. So another great tip for this. So you pick your item. What is it you're going to share about? What's, what's your passionate, emotional one? And then I want you to ask someone else what their story is about it, okay? And what this does, this is going to help you uh, build additional credibility. This is going to help you get more confidence. Maybe there's something that you don't think about that you're sharing, or maybe you're not a mom, but you talk to a mom, and then they tell you something that you didn't know about, okay? So we did this exercise online, um, and it's, it's, it's a great way to just, like I said, get some more content, all right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to actually write out the post. Okay, so I want you to write out the post. I want you to go find a picture, or make a note on this. Like, okay, I need to take a picture of me. You know, if you're going to share about Ninja Red, you're going to share a, a picture of a bunch of Ninja packets with a picture and say something like, oh my goodness, like, so thankful I can take my energy juice wherever I go. Um, or maybe you're going to do Love LaCroix and Sparkling Water. So you're going to have like a, like a LaCroix and then you're going to have the Ninja packet like poking out of it and be like, you know, supercharging my LaCroix today, I need the extra energy or something like that. You're going to create this curiosity, create this like, hmm, what is she talking about? We're not going to give all the information out. Okay. Um, you know, even for me, when I did a, a post about me being at the gym today, I showed, I didn't say anything about what I was using, but I had a picture of my backpack with a bunch of oils in there. So if someone do may be like, huh, I wonder what she carries for her workout. Um, all the things like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to do that. And then you're going to write the content, okay? So what am I, mine I was writing is, I know it seems like I have endless energy over here, but let me tell you a secret. We get run down too. I can't imagine my life without my red drink. Back at it and feeling great, okay? So that's gonna be my post. And then you're gonna post it, okay? So you're sharing from an emotional, authentic place. You're gonna share it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start feeling like, fee feeling or feeding or receiving, what am I trying to say? You're getting people curious about what you posted. Okay, so that's how you're going to start and try to have 
a new experience, getting some new customers through creating curiosity. Okay, so if you haven't tried this before, I want you to try it. I want you to text me. I want you to tell me. And this was just a little ditty about some of the things that they shared with creating new customer base. Okay, so again, I want you to think about how do you get your customers? How are you acquiring your customers? Okay, this is a really big, big thing and we do need to get a system in place as to acquiring new customers. Okay, so the one I shared with you today is on social media. You could post on Instagram, on Facebook. Uh, this is why it's so important to get people following you on Instagram or when you meet someone, get their contact information. And that's a whole nother thing, right? Is like after you are kind of hooking them in, you need to get their information. All right, so this is really fun. I'd love to hear your questions, what you guys are working on, what you're struggling with about getting new customers. And um, hopefully we're all gonna learn and grow together. All right, thanks for watching guys.